is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Seven, hike. We're back, Think Tech, and Think Tech Tech Talks. Here we are on the two o'clock block on a given Wednesday. Okay, and we're talking about tech today. I love tech. I'm Jay Fidel. Mm. And this is uh, Calvina Savia, and she is uh, the solutions architect, a solutions architect of Verizon Wireless right here in Hawaii. Ne. Yes. Welcome to the show, Calvina. Thank you for having me. Yeah. It's Calvena. Calvena, thank you. <laughs> so, um, you know, Verizon, first Verizon. Mm -hmm. Let me get this straight. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Alexa, what is Verizon? Alexa, what is Verizon? Verizon Communications, otherwise known as Verizon, is an American multinational telecommunications conglomerate and a corporate component of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. That's big. That's very big. Yeah. yeah. How does it feel to work for a big company like that? It feels great. I've been with them 21 years. Wow, so, wow. Yeah, I started when I was two. and yeah. <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> Right, so I love it. It's a great company. So how did you get into the solutions uh, solutions architect job? Right, so um, part of Verizon, a lot of people know Verizon as a phone business, yeah. right? You think phones, tablets, you think Verizon. You know, our product really is the network. We're all about the network. And um, so there's a lot of things you can do on our network. There's a lot of devices and solutions that work off our network. So I'm kind of the solution matchmaker, if you will. So you tell me what your needs are, and I'll help to oh, find cool, a solution cool. that looks that works on our network. Well, I have to tell you, you know, full disclosure, uh -huh. I love Verizon. I'm glad. I've been around the horn on most of them, and I came out, you know, for Verizon a long time ago. Never changed. And Verizon's fast, and, and it doesn't drop calls, and it does everything I want. So I like Verizon. Like you. We appreciate part. your business. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, um, but I'm, I'm a Samsung, you know, rather than I, an, uh, an iPhone guy. Uh -huh. uh, but the big news is not Samsung these days. It's, it's iPhone right now. Can you give us the big news on iPhone? Right. So um, iPhone, Apple actually recently announced the new iPhone 8, which is available now. Uh, the 8 plus and then the 10 that's coming out so a lot of new things you know apple now they don't just do one they're going to do one and and yeah. i don't know what happened to nine uh, yeah but, uh, what happened to nine yeah eight <coughs> nine a, ten an unlucky number or anything, <laughs> isn't it? yeah, yeah. The eight we know is a lucky number for the chinese yeah. you know, <laughs> but you know it strikes me that um you know you have you have the eight you have the eight plus you have the 10 all at the same time all you know, dropping into the market right. simultaneously. Doesn't that confuse the public? Um, you know, people who love Apple, they're always wanting the latest and greatest. And that's what Apple is so great at. They're really great at, you know, tweaking what they have to, to really allow the customer to have a, just an even a better customer experience. So well, they are number one in terms of sales. Right. So the question is, what's the difference? I'm going to ask you these okay. compare, contrast questions. All right. Now. What's the difference between the 8 and the 8 Plus? Okay, so it's size, mostly size for mm -hmm. the 8 and the 8 Plus. The functionality is the same? Right. Operating right. system is the same? Right. It's just a matter of the size. And they both have that stainless steel, what they call it, surgical steel case? Right. Well, and it's actually, um, the 8, it's, it's glass. Ah. The front and the back ah. are glass. It's uh -huh. the most durable glass ever made on a smartphone. Yeah. And then the band is that aluminum band that goes around it. So, okay. yeah, so it just it makes it durable because when you think glass, you don't think durability. Yeah. Right. And of course, we have cases. Yeah. So we always recommend doing the screen protector, mm -hmm. doing the case, you know, putting your accessories. I mean, it's an investment. Yeah. When and you might purchase drop Apple. It and all that. Right. So but you, you want to make sure to protect your investment. Yeah, but if I have the insurance and I always get the insurance, why mm -hmm. do I care about the case and the, the glass and why? Why? why well, why you know, people like to uh, customize it, make you know, for them because you see all these pink. pink pink's my favorite color, <laughs> so <laughs> it, you know, if the phone is not all pink, then I will make it pink okay. with my accessories. All right, so that's <laughs> you know, you see a bunch of uh, iPhones lying around. You're like, uh, which one's mine? That's true. Right. This is could be a real problem too. <laughs> it could be, right? Yeah. yeah. So they, what else do they have in terms of functionality? The eight and the mm -hmm. eight plus. Right. Well, 
And different from the 7 to the 8, you can kind of compare it that way, the camera. I mean, it's still a 12 megapixel camera, but the display, you know, it's a HD display and the colors are more vibrant. Um, it just makes for, you know, when you take pictures, right, it's all about the quality of the picture and it's about yeah. capturing that moment. Did you know so. that at Apple, at Apple mm -hmm. in terms of design, there are 800 people who work on the camera all the time. I did not know that. People. Yeah. Wow. Serious. Camera. 800, <laughs> right. Ser yeah. Well, that's why they announced a new phone, yeah. right? Yeah. Because yeah. those 800 people, we need to justify what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're not a new phone. <laughs> you know, from a digital media point of view, I mean, you, you can get pretty much the same kind of picture from, a, from an iPhone or a Samsung. It's also very good. Um, you know, as you can from a lot of cameras and mm. the, the iPhone you just put in your pocket. You know, right. I find it's very interesting. I just came back from a trip to San Francisco. And, you know, in the past, you took a camera into a museum, they would stop you. Right. right. But everybody was taking their iPhones into right. museums and taking pictures. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I noticed that in, in the Museum of Modern Art there and another museum I went to, they don't care anymore. Right. If you want to take a picture, it's okay. Don't use flash. But right. But people are taking pictures of pictures on the walls in these museums, like left and right. Right. And it's really great to do that. Right. It and is. You know, I was um, in Europe and, you know, we're at the Louvre and we're at these museums. And, of course, you're trying to capture it. The only thing they told us is no selfie sticks because uh, it gets in the way of everyone else's picture. It does. Yeah. And so it, it's, it's, it, it, exper it has an effect on the experience of the, of right, the crowd. Yeah, right. Yeah. But now these cameras, um, you don't need the flash because the camera is so good. It has low lighting. I mean, it, it does everything. Yeah. And so that's why, you know, I'm assuming it, that's why they allow it in museums now because, so easy. because you don't need the flash to yeah. capture a nice quality right picture. Right. And, be, and you know, I think another element here is that people do it anyway right. <laughs> because it's so easy surreptitiously to take a picture with your iPhone. Right. Right. <laughs> you hold right. it like that. <laughs> Click. You just need long arms <laughs> to get you and uh, the I subject matter there. I great pictures from the Museum of Modern Art in San Francisco. <laughs> right. Yeah. right. Nice. I didn't nice. have to buy that, you know, $200 book or anything. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Or sometimes you just take a picture of the book, but you don't have to buy the book. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So they the 8 and the 8 Plus are going to be okay. similar in terms of functionality. Right. It's just a question of size. It depends on how big a screen you want to have. Right, you know. right. <clears throat> and so mm -hmm. what, what, what is the functionality? How is it different than the functionality, say, in the 7? Right. Uh, that would make me want to, you know, take the step. Because the right. 7 wasn't that long ago. Right. I need to be convinced. Right. <laughs> so, well, besides the camera and all that, the processor is faster. Mm. So that's important. Is you it know, like email speed? I'm sorry? Does it affect email speed? It, uh, it does. Well, email is a couple of things, though. It's not just the processor. Yeah. It's the network, yeah. right? Yeah. So, I mean, you can have a fast processor, but if it's on a slow network, you're not going to be able to do everything that you want to do. Yeah. Hence, you need to get it on Verizon. Yeah, of course. Right? Well, well, that's why I do that. <laughs> but you know, I mean, I've been going to these conferences, you know, uh, tech conferences, and there's something called, uh, what do you call it, 5? What do you call it, 5, the Speed 5? Um, uh, oh, 5G? 5G. Okay, okay. And 5G is supposed to be significantly faster than 4G, right? Right, right. And so do you have any idea? Can you share with us, Calvin? Well, what I can share with, we, Verizon already started building out their 5G. Uh -huh. So G just stands for generation. Mm -hmm. So it's the fifth generation of network technology. Yeah. And so with our fourth generation, that's going to be around for a very, very long time. Yeah. And that actually is what most mobile um customers have. Yeah. 5G is more of a, um, how should I say it? So nowadays, say in a home or in a business, right? And the, um, your cabling only can go, fiber can only go up to maybe the street. So then now what do you do to take it from the street into the building? Yeah. That costs a lot of money to run that. Yeah. So that's where um, 5G would come in. It's more end-to-end -end point. range question. Correct. So it's, it's fast, but it's really only designed for that last mile, if you will, or last segment. Yeah. So it's not the typical mobile user. They'll still be using 4G. Yeah. But what 5G allows, uh, that's going to allow for um, in buildings. So say in hospitals, and you want to track where something is going from room to room to room, 5G will allow you to do that. Okay. And so are these phones, um, you know, uh, set up for 5G? In other words, when 5G comes to my my neighborhood, so mm -hmm. to speak, 
Uh, then will they take the 5G? Um, no, so these phones are not 5G. These phones are 4G phones. Is it, is it a convertible thing, or I have to wait till the next no, generation yeah, the of phones? No, yeah, correct, correct. Yeah. It, the phone has to be built to have that 5G technology in it. But like I said, you won't really, won't a not. typical user won't really need the 5G. I tell you, I'm perfectly happy with 4G. Yes, Except yes. If, you, if you gave me an option of having faster, I would always take faster. Right, right. But even, you know, within 4G, it's, um, like for Verizon, when we built our 4G, we're the first to build our, our 4G LTE technology. We're a couple of years ahead of the competitors. And um, we had a certain spectrum. It's basically, think of it like a freeway. Okay, so we built, we built so many lanes. Well, everybody wants to get on those lanes, right? I mean, when you get, like the zipper lane, right? That's if right. everybody could get in the zipper lane. Sure. Think it's they, crowded. Right, they'd rather get on the zipper lane. Yeah. So that was, everybody was getting on 4G. And so um, what Verizon did is then we bought, we bought more lanes. We bought a different spectrum, different frequency. But the phones, you had to choose either one. So then Verizon said, well, why not make, um, e you know, have our equipment be able to run on all the lanes? Because now you have a wider pipe, right. if you will, right. so that allows everybody I to go that. fast. Yeah. Right. So not all iPhones, the Verizon iPhone will let you go on all of our LTE frequencies, if you will. Mm -hmm. But the carriers, not everyone's like that. Mm. So speed will be affected by, um, you know, what network you choose yeah. to go on. We're taking a break in a minute, okay. you know, but come on, I just want to cover one other point with you before we take the break, and that's this. Um, you know, people are giving up landlines mm -hmm. by the carload. I mean, <laughs> everybody's giving them right. up. I mean, in my house, I'm removing all the, I'm, all, you know, I'm removing all the landlines. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I want the boxes there, or what, nothing. Because I know that we're not going to go backward to that. You know, we're moving, we're all moving that way. Right. And, and that means that the, this phone that you carry around, this one right here, uh -huh. whatever it is, you know, Samsung or uh -huh. iPhone, it's going to be your main mode of transportation, I mean, of communication, wherever Correct. you are. Right. This is really interesting because, you know, we need the functionality now right. because it's going to do so many things for us. It's a little scary how dependent we are. Right. But here's the thing. You know, I visited your Switch. Oh, okay. Have you visited your yes, Switch? Yes, uh, many times. We take okay. a lot of customers on tours yeah. of our there. Switch. We open it up for customers, by the way, yeah. to come visit us at our Switch. So. At an undisclosed location. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> it is hurricane it is. <laughs> If there's a hurricane, I'm at the Switch. Let's well, just put it that way. Ask. We're going to have a hurricane one of these days, right? Uh -huh. And everybody, they will have given up their landlines, and they're going to have you know their cell phones big functionality mm -hmm. um, so how do you prepare your I, I love this question right. how do you prepare you know for the for the storm how do you prepare for the aftermath of the storm well I know you guys have rooms full of batteries at right. your switch so your you know system at least at the switch right. is going to keep on functioning even if there's no power a uh, absolutely, in the community. absolutely generators we have generators we have batteries we have agreements you know contracts to make sure that we're always getting that fuel yeah. in there as well um, and then we have what well, we we call it a farm yeah. colts and rats and um, it's basically sell on a light truck that's a colt uh -huh. you know a repeater on a truck yeah. Uh, yeah so that's a rat you know so we have different uh, we call it farm animals for our acronyms but we're able to roll out generators we're able to roll out cell sites not just when a hurricane comes but if there's something going on at the stadium for example something going on at the convention traffic, center yeah. right where well, we know there's we're anticipating a high volume yeah. of traffic we're not going to just say, okay, well, what you get is what you get. We'll yeah. make sure that our network can handle the traffic so that customers have a great customer experience. So that's right. why we're best in Hawaii. Yeah. Well, rated by for the uh, third year really in a row. Really important, really important, yeah. especially in times of, you know, in times of trouble right. uh, when, you know, there's no power. Uh, of course, the other side of that coin is you have to have batteries so you can... Um, uh, you can, you know, the phone won't go dead. You, your, right. your phone right. needs to have, you know, be re recharged. Right. That. right. And you know what happens if, if you don't recharge it? Yeah, watch <laughs> this. <laughs> this is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Aloha, I'm Tim Apichaw, host for Moving Hawaii Forward, a show dedicated to transportation issues and traffic. We identify those areas where we do have problems in the state, but also the show is dedicated to trying to find solutions, not just detail our problems. So join me every other Tuesday on Moving Hawaii Forward. I'm Tim Apicella. Thank you.
I just walked by and I said, what's happening, guys? They told me they were making music. Okay, Calvena. Yes. I pronounced you it right. You got it right. Saudia. Saudia, uh, close. Saudia. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Solutions Architect of Verizon mm -hmm. Wireless, one of my favorite companies. So, okay. So, um, we talk about the 10 now. Okay. Uh, that is, uh, uh, what do you call it, the iPhone 10. This right. is This is presumably better than the 8 and the 8 Plus. Right. Why do you say that? Right. Well, a couple of different things with the 10. Um, there's not going to be a home button. So that's very different for Apple. How am I going to get um, used to that? <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be a gestures. There's a facial recognition and gestures. So I'm just making it up. But you can wink, and it'll send you a picture. No. <laughs> but <laughs> <I'm sorry>. to, <laughs> <laughs> don't wink too hard. You just paid a bill. No. <laughs> but um, so they'll, they'll have facial gestures yeah. and the no home button. So that's some of the really cool things coming out. So if out I want to do home, I just, I just, uh, just flash my mm -hmm. hand over it. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. does that have to touch it or just nearby? Um, so nearby, yeah. Oh, so it's going to be very... Fine. I saw yeah. a demo of the facial recognition mm -hmm. thing. That's really something. And it's not just a, you must know more, it's not just a photo of my face. It actually sends out points of light uh, at critical places and th they bounce off my face and that's how it tells it's me. Right. And it makes it harder to cheat on that because right. that's the identification methodology. So right. you have to have it sophisticated like that. Right. Does it work? It, I have. I personally haven't been able to uh, get my hands on one yet. There, you know, for us employees, we allow the customers right. to uh, get their phones first. Yeah, don't so quit you over get it, it before I get it. Uh, <laughs> but we do. You know, we'll have them in the stores, of course. When are they coming out exactly? Um, so it's coming out on the third. I'm going to double check it. Of it's on the third of November. And all so three of these phones are coming out on that day. Well, the eight is out already. Already, okay. So we can, uh, yeah, you can and already go get down, your hands buy on it right now. Correct. Okay. Um, so the ten is going to be on the third, and we can pre-order it the week prior to that. Okay. Okay, so okay. you can start pre-ordering. On the web. Um, I, get, yeah, I can order can on the internet. Right. It'll come in a package. On, right, uh, or you can go into the store. They can help you pre-order it. Or yeah. you can um, talk to one of our business reps. They can help you pre-order it there. So, yeah. yeah. I'm really interested in the thing about racial, uh, facial recognition because uh, I think that, you know, it's really a pain, honestly, with my Samsung to go and, you know, <laughs> make a pattern or enter a password and all that. Or mm -hmm. worse, not have a pattern mm -hmm. or a password and let it stay on all the time because you lose it, you know, you lose, gosh, you lose everything. <laughs> so you need security, but you right. also need it to be easy. Right. And this facial thing sounds like a really good idea. Right, right. So Way it's, to it's protect more, it without touching it. Yeah, right. Um, it's more expensive, though. It's $999, and before I walk out the store with a few accessories, I'm talking about m real money. Right, right. So there is a cost. However, we do have a trade-in program. Mm. So you can trade in any phone. It doesn't even have to be a Verizon phone. Um, it can come from another carrier. We welcome those. How about we a junk those. phone? Really um, junk phone. Yeah, the value might not be as much for your trade-in value, <laughs> okay. but you know we've seen trade-in values um, three hundred ninety dollars and up. Uh, so you bring in your old phone uh, or the phone you want to trade in, yeah. and then Verizon, um, as long as it's on, yeah. it works, and the glass isn't cracked, yeah. so that's important. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and give you a gift card from Verizon that you can use to apply yeah. to purchase the new phone, or you can use it for your bills. So a lot of customers are training it in, and then we, we can split your payment up. Or make so, it like an installment contract. Right, right. Um, can you talk about the differences and the special features that make this? Uh, I, pres I presume that the pricing on the 8 and the 8 Plus are sort of similar to the pricing on the 7 and all that. Uh, it's way less than $999. Yeah. Right. Well, it's about $200 difference. Mm. So it's about a $200 difference from so, the so 8 talking, to the 10. Eight, okay. So, so it's for, 800 bucks. Correct. For the, I guess, the 8 Plus. Yeah. Right. Yeah, maybe right. a little less for the 8. Right, yeah. right. So, and then versus to the 10. So you're looking at about a $200 difference. Of course, there's different sizes in terms of memory. So that's going to affect your price. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. But, you know, again, a lot of people are trading in their devices. It doesn't have to be an Apple device for an Apple. You can trade in a Samsung for an Apple if you want to. You can bring over something else from another carrier. You can, you know, if you have a drawer of so phones, why do I you can get use that. <laughs> why do I want to get the 10 instead of the 8? Why want to get, why mm -hmm. I want to, you know, get a 10 instead of the 7? Why do I want to get the 10 instead of the Samsung 8, which I have now? Right. What's so special about the right, 10? Right, right. Well, so with the 10, so there's that augmented reality feature, too, with what the camera. That? So I can take a picture of you, and I can um, put different, just kind of how we're doing here, right, in yeah. the studio. I can yeah. put different things behind you oh, oh. and, um, right, kind of augment. You know, normally when you take a picture, it's just the picture, and you have to have a little bit more suffixed sophisticated software to be able to change the environment mm. that you're in, change mm -hmm. the lighting and yeah. all of that. So this will allow you it's to like have that, they call it augmented reality. Yeah, yep. yeah. So you can yep. put a background behind me. Mm -hmm. So I, it'll identify my image mm -hmm. and then change things behind me Correct. in any which way. That's pretty good. Correct. Yeah. Boy, this is like a great camera. You can do, and you can do this on video too, not just the, you know, photogra photograph? Uh, pictures. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So video, um, I actually... I'm not sure about the video piece okay. of it. Uh, I would imagine I that, so, that the technology <laughs> would be the same. Okay, what what else is uh, what else uh, you know right. uh, impels me, compels me to get right. it? Well, it's always well with Apple. It's, remember, it's always the camera. It's always about the camera. It's always about um, that piece of it. You know what it looks like on the device and um, the clarity of the picture. Yeah. Uh, just more vibrant. Yeah. The colors on it. Yeah. Of course, the home button is big. The facial gestures is really the number one. Um, key thing yeah. that customers are looking for How about because the without the phone, you you actually have you, you the ten is actually smaller with a bigger screen because you're eliminating the home button. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now where's the steel? I saw this in the notes here. There's a steel thing. Um, so where is it? Steel, steel. Oh, here, surgical grade stainless steel. Right. Is so just for that durability, right? I mean, yeah. you're going to invest a thousand dollars into a phone. You, you want that durability. Yeah. And so, um, and just anything else, right? When you buy a nice camera, oh, you right? Want it to last. You, you want it to it's last and you build. want to take care of it, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, because people take it everywhere now. It's, it's like, it's, people don't even carry their car keys all over the place, but they carry a phone all over it's the true. place. And if you right? lose it, your life is over. Right. You lose your car keys, uh, uh, someone has a spare somewhere, uh, right? <laughs> the phone has all your family jewels on it. Right, right. right. Well, but now we can back a lot of things up to the cloud. So, you know, that makes, you know, not just with Apple. I'm talking about, you know, that's one of the other solutions oh. we have for Ryzen. We have a third party that allows you to, you know, become truly wireless and back things up. Yeah, I, had, I had this experience a couple of months ago. I, I must have pushed the wrong button and I wound up resetting my, my phone, oh, resetting mm -hmm. my phone. It's all gone, everything, you know. I was, in a, I was in a state, I'll tell you. Uh, but I found that most of it was on the cloud, and I could pull it down again. That was really saved my bacon. Right, right. <laughs> so is the right. operating system on the 10 the same as the 8? Right, so it'll be, right, so right now, um, with the operating system, though, um, in terms of the chip, um, yes, but the operating system is always advancing with Apple, right? Mm -hmm. So that's a, you know, they're going to sure. push out different softwares. Yeah. So by the time the 10 comes out, hey, you never know. Maybe they might be come out with a newer software, but... Um, we're, we're just really excited. Yeah. We, Apple always has fun, fun products, but Samsung has great products. Motorola has great products. Yeah, well, Google has great products. I, don't, I, don't, <laughs> I think the eight is probably as far as Samsung has gone right now. Right. I don't know what else is right. in the pipeline right. on them. Right. I was looking at a at a Pixel, right. a Google Pixel, right. and I think their first version, Google One, but they didn't call it, we'll just call it Google Pixel. Right. Um, was breakable. Uh, and somebody I know dropped one, and whoa, it was the end of the phone. <laughs> the end but of now the phone. It's, I think it's stronger. Maybe right. it's that glass you're talking about in the case. Right. So the um, two. Right. So the the two's out. Um, even Motorola. You know, they have. I, I my husband actually has a Motorola, um, and he the reason he got it is because there's a mod, mods that you can put on there, and he we have the projector mod, so we just slap it on the back, and now what you know. He's watching a movie, and instead of me trying to go over there and watch it with him, we just project it onto the wall, and we just watch a movie on the wall. It's huge. Which it's phone awesome. is this now? The Motorola. 
So the oh. mods are on sale, right? That but you can't get mod. that for, for the uh, iPhone? You can't get that for I the... I bet it's coming. I bet it's coming. <laughs> Too <laughs> good an idea, you know? <laughs> right. So, so, I mean, you have to use a different device. But this one, you know, Moro, they just, you just put on different uh, backings <laughs> on there. And so that's one that we really love using. At home, we're on the go. Right, so you're yeah. not trying to look at. I mean, you can have a nice phone, but the, ca the the screen only goes so big. Yeah. Right, and so this allows you to do that. Yeah. And wireless charging. That's the other thing that's big with Apple as yeah. well. So this. All of these the eight, Apple phones the you're eight, talking the about are wireless, yeah. and the, the ten, 10 as well. Yeah. Right. So the charger, Apple's wireless charger hasn't come out yet, but Verizon has a wireless charger. Yeah. So you you plug in that charging pad, and then boom, you just put that phone right on top. So different carrier, Samsung has a wireless pad. So. Again, we have all the accessories you could want. And I mean, the key really is, you know, like how I'm a solutions architect, I'm the matchmaker. You go into our stores, you talk to our business rep, you tell them what you're looking for, so and we'll is, put you in the, the right thing device. What are people are most looking for? I'm going to answer this question okay. myself. <laughs> what, what would you well, say? What are you looking what for? What would you say <laughs> that people are looking for more than anything else in these smartphones? In the smartphones? What do you think they're looking for? Um, on the cons okay, so I work a lot with our business customers. And um, with business customers, it's really about um, going paperless. That's what I find with business customers. You know all those check, check um, boxes and the checklist they have and invoices they have and all of that? You know, they're giving their employees papers to hand around. They're like, can, we, can I see things real time? Yeah. I want to be able to track real time. Yeah. I want to know if a delivery was made. Yeah. I want to know if something went then. wrong. It's the apps. Absolutely. And, yeah. and a lot of customers, they don't want to put devices in people's hands or employees' hands if you're a business because they're afraid, of, oh, they're going to go on Netflix all day. So we yeah. even have programs where we can. Um, take that off your phone completely. Ah, yeah, security. So yeah. security. Limit the functionality. Right, yeah. really to allow for productivity. Getting yeah. it's more yeah. becoming a tool now. Yeah, and and the company gives it and controls right. it and owns it probably, mm -hmm. and so that will it's a company phone. Right, and that's great. I, I right. and as a company guy, I wouldn't mind giving that to my uh, my staff and right. having them use it. And the only app on it is the only apps on it are the one. But what here, you want. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what I care about most. Okay, what Ready? do you care about? Are you about? sitting down? Okay. Okay, she's sitting down. <laughs> battery life. Battery life. So tell me about the battery <laughs> life on the 8 the, and the 8 Plus and the 10. That's really <laughs> important to me. <laughs> right. So great battery, great battery. But guess what? We also have battery packs. <laughs> oh, we have accessories to elongate uh, your battery. Because uh -huh. it really depends on, battery life is important, but the apps do different, you know, depending yeah. on what you do on the phone. Yeah. Some people, they say, hey, my battery's great. But other people, my God, I need more oh, battery true, true. because it's really up to the customer yeah. what they're doing. Everybody has different tastes yeah. about this. You right? want to know what the number one use of data is? No. Instagram. Instagram. A, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, people that's like, a little scary. <laughs> of course, it would have been more scary if you said Facebook, yeah? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, you know, yeah. the younger generation is all about the Snapchat and whatever else now is coming up. Snapchat is even getting old. But it's the social media. Social yeah. media is really what, what a lot of users do on um, mobile devices. And so because, you know, people are using it for advertisement. It's not just, you know, it's keeping in touch with family, friends. And, I mean, that's how I find out about what's going on in the world is through social media. Yeah. Right? So people are using their phones for that. You realize that all of this started as recently as 2008, which is eight <laughs> years ago. And our world has changed. Our lives have changed. Our way of you know communicating and living and keeping data and the whole enchilada has changed oh. in eight years and you're part of it. Wow! I want your job. <laughs> it's great. You know, when I started with the company, I'm going to age myself here, but when I started with the company, they installed a car phone into my car. We weren't even digital back then, and they're like, "We need you to get a car phone." And I was like, "Wow!" But that was the cool thing, yeah, right? When you yeah. had an antenna on your car, yeah. and now the devices are just so sleek yeah. that you really can carry around one device and have everything at your fingertips. And with that in mind, there's a case to be made for getting the latest and greatest every time it comes out. I right. am I am into that. Right. Well, it helps me keep my job. Uh, I want you to keep <laughs> your job. And I want you to come back and talk to me some more. I, I want to know more to. about these phones. That's Calvena Sautia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're very good. Okay. <laughs> Solutions architect of Verizon Wireless. Thank you so much, Calvena. Thank you so much yeah. for having me, Jay. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>